finally making some forward progress, it seems like. I got the panels on there. Hopefully I won't have to take them back out. I'm having some problems with the fitting, but it's to be expected with aftermarket parts. Um, I'm kind of test fitting everything, make sure it fits right. This side here seems to fit better than that side. This side's giving me a little bit more grief. Um, it looks like the quarter panels, or at least this one, needs to be pushed in a little bit because the gaps on both sides are pretty big. Uh, and I thought about putting some filler on the quarter panel here, but then you can't really weld on this uh, cap here. So I may just do it on the trunk itself. This, this side here is the same way. It's a pretty big gap in my opinion. So uh, I'm gonna mess with that a little bit more. If I can't get it, then I'll go ahead and just put the filler pieces on the trunk. Um, and then I'm gonna put the bottom piece down here and then the bumper just to kind of see how it fits. I did order a new bumper, uh, but I just kind of want to get it fitted. And I probably won't weld anything until I get the new bumper. Um, so I'm starting in the rear and then working my way to the front. This piece here seems uh, to me that it needs to be moved up some. Because the lines aren't really lined up. But um, it's coming along. There's still a little room for it to go up. So I'm going to go ahead and mess with this for a little bit and then um, I'll show you how it came out. Everything is fitted, working on the gaps. It's a little bit better, still some minor tweaking and stuff, uh, but it's coming along pretty good. I got the trunk working, it's the only thing that I've welded. And it just goes on this uh, rear to like panel piece doesn't get welded to the floor or anything so just welded here here and then up here um, so I'm just gonna play around with it for a little bit more and then maybe come to the front and see what I can do to uh, make it raise a little bit more so uh, what I'm gonna do a friend of mine told, told me to jack it up and put it on some um, jack stands and sometimes the cars will kind of sag a little bit and it will get it a little bit closer to where all the lines match up so right now they're a little bit off uh, so uh, i'm gonna get the uh, jack stands jack it up and then uh, maybe loosen up some of the stuff back here and see if everything kind of falls into place so I thought I was getting ready to start welding some panels soon. Uh, I'm waiting for the bumper. This is the uh, old bumper, the original bumper, but I got one without the, um, well, I think 70, 71 to 73 is the same bumper. Per my understanding, I could be wrong, uh, but these were optional or required on the um, 73. Uh, the only difference is uh, the brackets on the 73 it's a little bit uh, further out uh, because of uh, regulations and all that crap that came about on 73 but anyway i'm gonna i'm trying to order some shorter brackets i'm having a hard time um, they seem to be out of stock and they don't know when they're gonna get them so i fitted i showed you how everything fit earlier before but I wasn't happy with the uh, the gap that was here uh, now it's a little bit better still not perfect um, it's pretty consistent I mean it may be off just a tad where you really can't tell much from here and then up to here um, the lights fit a lot better in my opinion before I had this raised up some and uh, the problem that I was having was that um, it was making these things like a little crooked to where the gap was bigger up top and smaller in the front. Um, I had this moved up some too, like maybe up to here, but it was causing the fitment here to be off. So 
I moved it down and I try to push this side up some with the jack. And um, I think I got it to where it's acceptable. Um, I still may need to play with that side a little bit. I, th I did the exact same thing here. The only problem that I'm having is that um, this fender is a little bit further up because uh, I think the section here, that's, uh, you know, there's like a section I'll show you. This part here is a little bit taller here than here. So it's not letting it go down as much. Um, but I want to see what I can do to push it down a little bit to where it's a little bit flush and maybe move this in that way a little bit because when I put the, the cap, uh, you can see a little bit of this quarter panel. Uh, but it did lower it. Everything seems even. Uh, the gap's a little bit better here. Here is not so bad either. Um, it seems like it needs to be pushed out that way a little bit more, just a tad. Um, this gap here, I'm not too happy about. And uh, I know with new parts, re reproduction parts, they don't always fit exactly how um, the OEM stuff did. So here, this is a little bit wider than this, which to me it's not a big issue. It's not gonna be a show car or anything. And the lines match up here, and then they start to get a little bit off. It's not by much at all. I know the line underneath is pretty good because it's uh, pretty consistent all the way in the bottom. And this gap here, I'm pretty happy with, and the door's pushed that way. Uh, as far as I can get it. So the only way I can get this fixed is I've seen some people put some rods and kind of shape it around the door, but this is an original door and I wouldn't want to um, weld something to it because, you know, I've never done this before, but to me it's gonna seem like, I don't know if they weld the inside of this too because otherwise, if you just weld the outside that you see, then inside is going to look kind of ugly, in my opinion, unless you weld the entire thing as well. And then grind it and smooth it out. Um, but I, I really didn't want to mess with the door too much. I do have some rust issues here, so I'm thinking I'm going to cut out maybe here to here. And then the same thing in the front. Because if you look, it kind of sticks out a little bit here, so it doesn't fit up with the with the line here either. And then you get further out, and then it it's flush. So I think this this needs to be pushed in a little bit, but I think it has something to do with the bubbling of the uh, the sheet metal. Same thing in the front, and I believe the other door has it too. Uh, the other door fits a little bit better, the gap's a little bit better, but I'm still gonna have to fill it somehow. Um, I thought about putting some kind of the, maybe the rod in here, but then it's gonna look a little odd. You know, you're gonna have this little bump and then straight. I mean, this part here, I kind of want it to look somewhat original. The rest, I don't really care too much about. Um, the door closes good. I'm really happy with that. The hood, it's okay. You know, here, it's, it's a little bit tighter. And then the rest is pretty consistent. So, um, I know this fitment here was, it's a lot better than, than what it was when I first got it in from factory. Uh, as long as the lines, the body lines match up, which that one does. And that one kind of does. I thought about putting maybe some uh, some filler or something to kind of raise it up a little bit. I mean, it's not much of a difference. Maybe even push it in some to where it kind of raises a little bit. Um, so that's where I'm at now. I'm going to go ahead and mess with this section. And then move forward. And I'm going to leave that last. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do because I cannot push this in anymore plus it'll leave a really big gap here and it, it won't look good i actually had to push the bottom out that way because it was kind of like that and you had about 
a half an inch gap in the bottom, which didn't look good. So I got it pretty consistent. It's just not the right gap that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, start working in the back and then just maybe sleep on it and figure out what I have to do for the door gap. Getting some work done on the Mach 1. Got some welds done on some of the corners so I can get the self-tapping screws. I need to go back and fill these sections out. I still have to do this all the way down. But first I have to finish welding this piece, which kind of overlaps down here. So I have to pull this that way some, to finish welding it, then push it back in, and then um, make sure that everything still lines up. I scribed everything a little bit to make sure it gets back in, in the same spot. So once I do all this, then I'm going to probably move to the front and see what I can do to bump this up just a tad. I'm also thinking that later on, I want to finish building this whole piece first on both sides. I'll put a rod in to kind of fill in the gap. And then also the lines line up pretty good but I feel like this one's still sticking out just a tad, which is not a problem. All I have to do is just undo these screws and push it in some. That's the plan for today. Uh, finish up the back. Once I do, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna finish up this piece here and I'm gonna move to the front, maybe around the wheel well, and then finish up in the back or come back here first to make sure everything fits then the wheel and then here either way I'll figure it out I got the bumper in I don't have the bumper brackets yet so uh, to line everything up I feel like I'm gonna have to just uh, I, got, I got tired of waiting for it so I'm gonna put everything back how it was and then once I find the brackets or if they come in for the 71, 72 uh, bumper brackets. Then I'll put it on, but the uh, 73 brackets uh, fit fine. I have them, I have the old bumper down there. I had to cut one side because the uh, bolts were rusted so bad I just couldn't, I couldn't get them out, but it still allows me to line everything up. And I'm gonna put, put this filler piece, the only thing I'm not gonna put is uh, those little rubber deals that go here because you have to drill some holes to put those on and uh i don't believe the 72s and ones had that i also have to drill some holes here for that mach 1 plastic that goes here with the trim but i'm gonna worry about all of that later right now i'm just focused on getting these pieces welded and getting it uh, sturdy and then moving on to little stuff like this and fixing the rust on the trunk the two doors and uh, I have another piece here but on the other side um, I also found a piece on the driver's side rear on the floor that I have to either find a replacement piece for or patch up but for now I'm just gonna focus on this and uh, make some progress and then move to the other stuff later. I've got the top welded. I finished some of the stuff back there. I've got the wheel well all welded up all the way around. There's still a few things that I have to grind, like uh, the bottom right there. I went ahead and got the inside all welded up. And I put some primer to kind of protect the uh, bare metal to keep it from rusting. Um, but I will take it off uh, and prime it correctly once it's time for paint. I still have to do these here. There's a uh, two or three on this side. And then once I get this side finished up, then I can go to the other side. I was able to move this up just a tad. I still have a little bit to go. Um, I got this curve uh, down pretty good. It wasn't really matching up with this one. It's still not perfect, but uh, it's it's pretty good so what I did is I just uh, I cut 
cut a notch right here and then kind of push this section in to make it curve a little bit more. It seemed to work. So I'll probably duplicate that on the other side if it's not matching good, which I don't think it is. Uh, and then for the top here, I thought about cutting the metal and raising it some. I'm not sure. So uh, I'm gonna play around with the idea because this section here also needs to be moved up just a tad. Um, I may just put some filler on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do some research and see. Obviously metal is better, but I mean, it, it's really, it looks worse on the video, but it's really not that bad. It's uh, a lot better than what it was before. So I can live with that. I still don't like the gap here. Uh, so I, right now I just want to worry about welding all the uh, metal back and then I'll start playing around with uh, little stuff like this. But it's coming along. I think I'm going to stop for today and then uh, do the rest tomorrow or the next day.